I have a very important um, public announcement to tell you about the alewife. The alewife is a small fish that lives in Lake Michigan. It is eaten by the lake trout and the Chinook salmon, and it eats algae. Pollution is a major problem in Lake Michigan. Pollution kills pretty much everything in the food web, including the alewife. Wife. Everything gets knocked out. However, you can help this problem by using screens for over Lake Michigan, having people help clean up, and raising public awareness. You can do it. It's important to conserve Lake Michigan because we have a unique habitat for many unique species. We need to stop pollution in Lake Michigan. Algae. It fits into the food web for vegetarian fish. If the vegetarian fish don't get their food, they die. And if the carnivores and omnivores don't get the vegetarian fish's food, they all die. And all the fish are gone from the coral reef. This species fits into the um, Lake Michigan food web at the bottom. All the vegetarian fish eat it. One problem with Lake Michigan is pollution. People dump toxic waste into the water and that makes pollution. The problem affects some species because the fish might think the toxic waste is food, they eat it and they die. A solution to the Lake Michigan problem is to cause awareness, raise money, advertise, spread the word, and solve the problem. It's important to conserve Lake Michigan because it gives people water, it gives fish water, and meat we and fish need it to survive. Breaking news from President Obama in the Field Museum of Chicago, Illinois. Algae. The algae is a rootless plant that lives towards the that lives towards the shore. In other words, the seaweed is like flowers and water by the beginning. The species is at the bottom of the food web, which gets eaten by the shiner fish, and that gets eaten by a yellow perch. It also gets eaten by alleywife fish, which gets eaten by both salmon and lake trout. One problem with Lake Michigan is pollution. That has a solution that does two things that could help us in the earth. So let's say if we dump poison in the lake, algae get sick. And when all the fishes eat it, all the fishes get sick and they eventually die. And here is my solution to what we can do. We can help Lake Michigan and other waters from getting polluted is by creating a dumping hole, as you can see in my diagram right here. Let's say this is the water right here. The dumping hole, the dumping hole is for when you put, you could put pollution, pollution or whatever you want to dump into the water, you could just put it in here and it gets sucked in from the bottom, and the bottom of the hole leads to a furnace right here that burns up what you dump. So if you dump in anything in there, it could help our environment and, uh, and um, the water from getting dirty, and if the water gets dirty, we die eventually. Also, this um, diagram that I'm thinking of it could have a little one on the side where it's like a vacuum where you could suck up what you're doing and it could go straight to the furnace. Also, if people pollute in the water, they will be fined. But for me, I will actually fine them $500 for polluting our waters and it's better than them dying. It is important to save Lake Michigan because we need water to survive. So if you want to stay alive, drink healthy water by not polluting on what we drink. And by all this, we won't even have food if the water gets polluted because the allergy 
the algae gets sick so like I said before the water that the fishes will die and we won't have anything to eat so if you want to die go ahead but I say um, that I don't think you want to die this short of time so how about save the water create this diagram and save us from dying that's all you gotta do so call President Obama or the Field Museum for more information on what I think. Thank you.